Hey, welcome back, my peeps. I got another quick tutorial for you guys. So let's get to it. So we're going to make these cookies right here. To resemble like little Hershey Kisses and stuff like that. Okay. Yes, they do have Hershey Kiss cookie cutters. So they do have Hershey Kiss cookie cutters. I know everybody can't afford to get these or don't want to buy them because they might not use them again. But I'm sure you have a candy corn cookie cutter. It's just a candy corn cutter. Regular shape. It could be any size you have. It doesn't have to be a certain size. You make them with what you have. But, do you know how versatile this cookie cutter is? Let me show you real quick. I did a class on a paid workshop on Facebook around the holiday season. And I made all, with this one cookie cutter, I made this cookie. I made Penguin. I made Santa. I made a gingerbread. I made a snowman, an elf, a Christmas tree, figgy pudding, and I even made a Christmas ornament. So, this cookie, and there's a, so many other designs that you can make with just this one cookie cutter in your imagination. That's all it takes, your imagination. This one was my favorite. But don't put this cookie cutter away because you can use this all year long. Okay? Anyways, let's get to it. So, you're going to need your base. You know, I have my cookie dough clay here. It's white clay. I paint it with, I add apple barrel classic caramel to it. So that I get this dough, this color that looks like dough. That's the color I like to use because I, I like to, um, let's put the cookies over here so you can see them. You don't need this plate. Let's put it over here. Right? So, you know, we're going to get our two sticks because... And we're going to use the two layer sticks because this is for the bottom. So you want it to be thicker than the top. And you're just going to take your dough, put it in between there, and just roll it out. Okay? Take your cookie cutter. Well, we almost didn't make it there, huh? Always take the clay off first because it will stick to the other part that you're trying to use. Put it away so it won't dry out. And just take your cookie cutter. I mean your cookie out of there. Make sure you touch up those edges. There you go. You got your bottom part right. So I'm going to put this to the side for a minute. Because I need to use this to make the silver part or the gray part. So what I did, I have some white clay that I... Uh, just tint it with a little bit of gray paint. Not much. Just so I can have the silver wrapper part to my uh, cookie. So now we're going to take the one layer. Because you want this to be thinner than your top layer. Okay. So now we're just going to put this down. Hope I got enough. Which I don't. <laughs> but that's what happens. That's why when you think you got enough and you don't, it never fails. It never fails. All right. This should definitely be enough. I like to roll one way. Then I like to flip the dough around and come back the other way just to stretch it out. Just so I have enough for my cookie. The 
pick up your dough first. Put it away so it won't dry out. And now, you're going to get your cookie. And I always start with this part first, the point. Because that's, that's basically your guide. And you're just going to lay that right on top of your cookie. You see that? And make sure that all the parts are touching so it won't lift when it starts to dry. Because when it starts to dry, it shrinks up. And you just want to make sure all your parts are touching. And I usually like to give texture to this part. So if you want, you can get this little tool. And you can also use a toothbrush. Like I told y'all before, once you use a toothbrush, you kind of smash in your clay in. And you kind of misshaping it. And that's why I like this tool. Because you can just go like this. And just make the texture on it. You know, without uh, changing the shape of your cookie too much. Okay? If you want to do this. If you don't, you don't have to. I just like to give it a little texture. Make it more look like a cookie. So there you go. So then after this... Let's keep it on here because it's still kind of wet. What I did was I got some metallic paint. I used this folk art metallic paint and I painted. Okay, let me let me backtrack a little bit. You want to let this dry first. Let it sit overnight until it gets a skin on it. Okay, it, it's not going to be 100% dry. It's not going to be 100% dry. But it's going to be dry enough for you to paint. And that's what you want. Don't do it now because it's too wet and you're going to um, misshape in it, you know, and you don't want that. You work too hard to get this nice cookie going. Just let it sit overnight, okay? Then you're going to take your metallic paint and you're going to paint it. I only put one coating of this because after I, while it was wet, while the paint was wet, I went and I sprinkled some of this fine glitter on it called Snow. This is from Michael's. I shared it with you guys before, and I will put a link to it at Michael's. And when the, when the paint was wet, I sprinkled it with the glitter. I don't know if you can see how sparkly that is. Right? And I got this. So... This one is 100% dry. I'm going to put this to the side. See how much it shrink? This is the same cookie. These are the same cookie. I use the same cookie cutter, the same clay and everything. And that's how much it shrinks. <laughs> it's crazy. But. So, to make the chocolate cookie, you're going to do the same steps we did. You're just going to use brown clay. Okay? That's all. And you don't have to paint it or do anything to it unless you want to. That's totally up to you if you want to use paint or whatever. But you don't have to. So now to do this part, I'm going to get a little piece of white clay. And I'm going to roll that out this over here for me. Oh, we can put it there. You can, well, I'm going to roll it out. I'm going to roll out some clay, so. Put these over here for a minute. Put this one there, and I'm going to roll out a little bit of clay. You don't need a lot. You're just going to make a small little strip. Got a piece of hard clay in there. All right. So I'm gonna just roll it out in between my two, my two ones, and I'm just gonna make a strip out of it. You know what? I didn't even use this. I used, I used, I actually used two craft sticks because that's how thin I wanted it to be. Okay. I need it to be really thin. So when you have it rolled out like this, then you're going to get your clay blade. And you're just going to cut down. Make sure you grab that first. 
cut down on the other side. You don't want your uh, clay to be too thick. I mean, your strip. You don't want it to be too thin. Then you cut off the edges. Even it out. Right? And then on the edge, how you see how it's like this? Like I cut it off a little bit to make it look like the wrapper. You could either go in the middle like that and cut out your piece or get a scissor and do a quick snip. And then you kind of want to round the little edges a little bit, okay? Then you're going to get your cookie. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here only because this cookie is already dry. And I want it to stick pretty good. So I'm going to get me some little bit, a little, I'm, gonna even, I'm not even going to put it on there. I'm going to put it on my finger. I'm going to just put a little bit of glue on my finger and put it on here. Very lightly. Hold on, I can't even. Let's put it. Okay. Very lightly. You don't need a lot of glue. You just need enough for it to stick to the cookie. That's it. So now you're going to take. I think I made it, made it too long, but that's okay. So you're going to take this. And you're going to bring it to this edge right here. To make it look like it's coming out of the. I think I did it too long, so I'm going to just go right here. Wait, I ain't even, am I putting down the glue side down? No. I'm putting the wrong side down. I'm like, why is this thing not? Right? And then I took it and I kind of just, just like twisted it a little bit. So if you have, if you make it too long, you can always just go back and cut that piece off. Right? So that's that's how you do that. And then you're going to let this dry. Because this part is still too soft. Once this dries overnight, then you could get a marker. I use this color. I don't even know what this. They don't put the color. These are these marker colors. But it's like a royal blue. And then you're going to write the word kisses on there and you're gonna get that see it kisses and that's how you're gonna get your cookies um your hershey kiss your quote unquote hershey kiss even though they're not like the sh real shape of a hershey kiss but people know exactly what this is supposed to be once they see the silver wrapping the strip with the word kisses on it. And if you put another little chocolate one by it like that. You're going to be like. Okay. Alright. So you're going to take your cookies. And you're going to put them on a plate. Put your cookie like that. And then put that one like that. And there you go. There go your Hershey Kiss cookies. Guys. These are so cute. I love them and they so easy to make and I told you this cookie cutter is too versatile not for you not to have it in your collection because we gonna use it again okay but until that time you stay safe stay healthy keep crafting and go on and make you some of these and if you do tag me on Facebook or Instagram or wherever you at. Well, I'm not on Twitter. Or anything. I'm just Facebook, Instagram, and here on YouTube. But you can't really tag people on YouTube or leave messages. I know sometimes you guys say, I'm trying to leave a post a picture. Um, YouTube doesn't allow you to do that. They don't allow you to really. You can tag people now, but you can't upload pictures and all of that good stuff on YouTube. So if you make these and you want me to see them. Come on Facebook or Instagram and I will definitely see them if you tag me in it, okay? So like I was saying, guys, 
stay safe, stay healthy, and keep crafting until the next tutorial. I'll talk to you then. God bless. Bye. Thank you.